those that are new to this stream, I'm Vibe with Mike, and I document the ships here in Duluth. They're familiar to us. Algoma conveyor, 740 feet in length. Robert S. Pearson. Each with a different purpose. That's the Missouri crunching through that ice. Story. It is BBC Challenger. And Vibe. Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie. Mike has thought the aerial lift bridge was cool since he was eight years old. And in adulthood, the interest grew. But I really started recording the ships, you know, for real about a year and a half ago. I have no connection in my family to the maritime industry or anything like that. It's just, uh, I just, you know, you, you fall in love with the hobby. You know, it's no different than someone that's doing woodworking or any any other type of hobby. This is a, this is my woodworking. His hobby? Boat friends. It's a cold one out here today. Has earned him almost 40,000 YouTube subscribers. And I want to say hello to the boat friends that are in the chat. Where did boat friends come from? You know, I think it came from the fact that I didn't have any friends to talk about boats or ships, and I just said, you know, the first couple of people say, hey, I got some boat friends. His voice is familiar to these boat friends. I see Chuck is on there. Harry, how are you? And unless you run into him at the canal, he'll stay just a voice. Well, I mean, it's called Vibe with Mike, so at least you know my name is Mike. However, the channel really is not about me. It's about the ships. It's about the people that are a part of this channel, the boat friends. So you won't see his face on YouTube or here. Now, I always say it's not about me. It's about this community and the people around the world that have taken a liking to Duluth, the ships, and everything that we have here in this gem of a city. But he took us on a pontoon cruise. So the lift bridge is all the way up right now. We're getting closer to it. To see some of the ships that excite him and all the boat friends. This right here is the crown jewel of ships. If they ever come to Duluth or anywhere on the Great Lakes, this is the one they want to see, and we just happen to be here to see it. This is the longest ship on the Great Lakes. This is the Polar Trigger, 1,013 feet in length. The Eiffel Tower is 1,080 feet to the very top of its spire. If you took the Polar to Gertha and put it upright, this would be almost as tall as the Eiffel Tower. So it's Eiffel Tower going through the canal, essentially. Mike studies these ships. I know you have never seen this vessel go through the Duluth Piers because it never has. It's on its maiden voyage. I did some research. It's equipped with some low sulfur fuel engines. Their history? This right here is a beautiful old school Laker. The J.A.W. Eigelhart built in 1936. And their specs? Well, the Anderson, this is a 767 foot vessel. One of the things that I think really draws people to the shipping industry and to channels like Mike's are the stories behind the ships. So this is the Arthur Anderson getting ready to load here at the Ordox in Duluth. But this ship has such a deep history because it left behind the Edmund Fitzgerald and it responded to the crisis that happened that night. And yet here it is still sailing the Great Lakes. Just that living piece of history right here. When you see the Arthur M. Anderson go by you in Duluth or anywhere, you do see the silhouette in your mind of the Edmund Fitzgerald that goes by at the same time. It's always going to be connected. Whether the ship has a deep history or is new to the Twin Ports, Mike is a bridge to an international community. Well, let me rattle off some of our boat friends from around the world that have said hi in email here in the last two weeks. Liam O. from Dublin, Ireland. Sophia R. from Sydney, Australia. Hiroshi T. from Tokyo, Japan. Olivia M. from Toronto, Canada. Carlos G. Mexico City, Mexico. And the list goes on. Well, I happened upon uh, Boat Friends, Vibe with Mike. I came across Mike's channel. I thought, this is great. I started vibing with Mike, and now I'm a part of his community as well. That's something that I've noticed. People that have the interest in ships as a hobby and watching them, just wonderful people, and they are the type of people you want to become friends with. They even get their own category, boat friends. I am the lucky person that gets to hit record and to share the ships and the experiences that we get to have 
right next to the lift bridge all of the time.